Converging on Spratt to see a battle of top 25 teams. Number 21, Missouri Western. Number 16, Pitt State. Both teams entering 3-1. and one. Both teams touting top-ranked defenses. But the Gorillas trying to run away with this one super early. Pick it up first quarter. Already up 7-0. Quarterback Anthony Abanoa doubles the lead with the keeper. Griff's down 14-0. But back they come in the second quarter. At the goal line, freshman QB Schuyler Windmiller hits Stefan Weaver for the short touchdown. It's a 14-10 game now. Strange play of the game comes a few minutes later. Gorillas is punting. Josh Walker takes it, takes off, makes a move, and he's got open spaces. Walker has a clear path to the end zone. Then he's hit from behind and fumbles it away. Pitt recovers. The Gorillas would then march 90 yards and kick a field goal. So that's a 10-point swing. Just before the half, though, John Schmiemeyer, 44-yard field goal of his own. That's money. Griff's down 17-13, headed to halftime. Halftime, a time for legends. Missouri Western honoring its newest Hall of Fame members, including the 1994-95 women's basketball team, men's basketball players Daryl Wright and Larry Ingram, former football great Mitch Mason, along with the late St. Joseph track and field legend John Chavez and PGA golfer Bryce Garnett, all of them making up the class of 2014. Back on the field. This the proverbial tale of two halves. All the early offense disappears. The two nationally ranked defenses taken over. The good news, the Griffins held the Gorillas to just two second half field goals. That's it. The bad news is the Griffin offense could go absolutely nowhere. Windmiller was absolutely assaulted, sacked four times on the night. The Griffins went three and out, three straight possessions, and managed just 39 yards in the second half. They get shut out in the second half. And that's the difference. Western falls to Pitt, 23 to 13. The final. The Griffins drop to three and two on the season. The offensive struggles continue, especially against the top-ranked scoring defense in America. Second half, I think they just their defense played better than our defense, and that's what happened. I think they even though we held them to six points, I think they had about 200 yards of offense and, and continue to hold the ball, made some big third-down conversions. Our first drive, we popped that long run. Um, I think we only got another first down the rest of the way, and we, we probably need to, you know, kind of look at that a little bit. It was, it was a struggle, but we gotta we gotta block better. We gotta pass protect better. We can't let Skyler get hit all the time. We just we just had to play better up front, and they were they were throwing some blitzes at us, and we just didn't pick them up to the level that we needed to. And, you know, and I told I told the team tonight. I said everybody wants to just blame it on a, a young quarterback, and, and the other people got to execute to help that young quarterback get along. And I thought Skyler competed really really well in that. Yeah, I mean that. I took a beating, but I mean, it is what it is. It's football. That's what I signed up for, and that's why I'm here. I'm here to do that. So, I mean, we just got to come back next week ready to roll and fix some things and see what we can do to pull a W out. 